Hey there, fellow time travelers of television. Television, do you remember those days when the world was a little less digital and a lot more cozy in front of the tube? Ah, oh, the sweet nostalgia of flickering screens, rabbit ear antennas, and the anticipation of a new episode airing. Today, I'd like to take you on a journey down memory lane to a remarkable year in television history, 1987. That's when the iconic British TV series, Inspector Morse, first graced our screens. A series that kept us on the edge of our seats, week after week, with its intriguing mysteries and compelling characters. But hey, before we dive into the fascinating facts about this beloved show, let's pause for a moment and reminisce about your favorite moments. Do you recall the brilliant detective, Inspector Morse himself, with his razor-sharp mind and distinct love for opera? Or perhaps you had a soft spot for Sergeant Lewis, his loyal right-hand man. And those picturesque Oxford settings that added a unique charm to each episode, weren't they simply captivating? So, dear viewer, I invite you to share your cherished memories of Inspector Morse. Let's relive those unforgettable moments, characters, and experiences that made this show a timeless classic. Drop a comment and let's spark up a friendly conversation about this gem from the past. Now, let's fasten our seatbelts and get ready for some intriguing random facts about Inspector Morse that you probably didn't know. So, grab your cuppa and join me as we unravel the mysteries behind the scenes of this iconic series. 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 Inspector Morse, a classic British television series that aired from 1987 to 2000, originated as an adaptation of Colin Dexter's popular detective novels. Set in the picturesque city of Oxford, the show revolves around the brilliant but enigmatic detective chief Inspector Morse, portrayed by John Thaw, and his loyal and dependable sergeant, Lewis, played by Kevin Whatley. The series is characterized by its cerebral approach to crime solving, often delving into complex and intellectual mysteries that demand Morse's keen intellect and love for classical music and literature. What sets Inspector Morse apart is its slow-burning, character-driven storytelling and the rich development of Morse himself, a character with a taste for fine wine and classical music, a penchant for cryptic crosswords, and a touch of melancholy. The show's unique style emphasizes character depth, intricate plot lines, and the stunning Oxford backdrop, all wrapped in a deliberate pacing that allows viewers to savor the unraveling of each case. Inspector Morse left an indelible mark on popular culture, spawning numerous spin-offs, prequels, and a devoted fan base. Its impact can be seen in the enduring fascination with complex, intellectually driven detectives and the lasting legacy of John Thaw's iconic portrayal of Morse. The series' combination of intellectual stimulation and emotional resonance continues to captivate audiences, cementing its status as a timeless classic in the realm of British television. Unveiling the secrets of Inspector Morse, a TV series of surprises Inspector Morse, the iconic British TV series that first graced our screens in 1987, holds more than a few secrets that have intrigued its loyal fan base. While many know it for its gripping detective stories and the enigmatic Inspector Morse himself, there are some lesser known facts that add depth to the series. One surprising aspect of the show is its almost complete lack of ethnic minority characters, despite being set in England during the 1980s and 1990s. In a time when diversity in media is increasingly valued, this absence stands out. It reflects the era's television landscape, but also raises questions about representation. Equally intriguing is the revelation of the main character's first names. Fans of the series had to wait until Season 5, Episode 5, titled Promised Land, to learn that Lewis' first name is actually Robert Lewis. Even then, Morse's first name remained a well-guarded secret, with only the initial E being teased to the audience. It wasn't until Season 8, Episode 3, that Morse's full first name was finally revealed. Moreover, for those who have watched both the original Morse series and its prequel, Endeavor, the experience takes on a new dimension. Endeavor retrofits many elements of Morse, offering insights into character traits and plot elements. One of the most enjoyable aspects is discovering the long-standing partnership between Max and Morse and the intricate dynamics of their friendship. Inspector Morse, a series known for its mysteries, keeps its own mysteries well guarded until the opportune moment. From the lack of diversity in its characters to the gradual unveiling of the characters' first names, the show keeps its audience engaged and curious. 
In the end, it's these hidden layers that make Inspector Morse a timeless classic, inviting viewers to explore not only the cases at hand, but also the secrets of its characters. 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 In the 1987 TV series Inspector Morse, author Colin Dexter found inspiration for character names from his favorite crossword compilers, Sir Jeremy Morse and Mrs. B. Lewis. He also drew from the streets of Summertown, England, where he lived. Rawlinson Road, Aldrich Road, Hobson Road, and Lonsdale Road all lent their names to characters and places in the show. Morse's iconic red jaguar faced some tough times in one episode when it got damaged twice. These mishaps prevented suspects from escaping, adding suspense and drama to the storyline. The production of Inspector Morse had its own journey. Originally partnered with Central Independent Television and Zenith, it later fell under the umbrella of Carlton Television. Carlton's home entertainment division, known as Carlton Video, produced a home video documentary titled Inspector Morse, Rest in Peace, essentially a compilation of series highlights. Carlton eventually merged with Granada Television, forming ITV PLC later renamed ITV Studios. The HD restoration of the series updated the copyright holder to ITV Studios, but some broadcasters, streaming services, and physical home entertainment copies may still be using earlier, unrestored versions. These behind-the-scenes insights and the series' enduring popularity offer fans a deeper appreciation of Inspector Morse. Der Morse. Der Morse. Morse's Mysterious Moves, a behind-the-scenes look at Inspector Morse in 1987. The TV series Inspector Morse made its debut, bringing to life the iconic detective character created by author Colin Dexter. While the show is primarily known for its intriguing mysteries, and memorable characters, there are some lesser-known facts that add an intriguing layer to its history. Production shift from season four onward, the production of Inspector Morse underwent a significant change in location. It moved from Lee International Studios in Wembley to Goldcrest Elstree Studios. This shift was prompted by the acquisition of the former EMI Elstree Studios by Brent Walker, who renamed it Goldcrest. Interestingly, in subsequent years, half of the Goldcrest Elstree Studios site was sold to Tesco for the construction of a supermarket in Borehamwood. However, the other half was eventually acquired by Hertzmere Council and resumed its role as a major TV and film production facility. Mysterious car appearances in the series, keen-eyed viewers may have noticed an abundance of Vauxhall cars. This stands out because, at the time, UK TV productions were not allowed to have formal product placement deals. Vauxhall, known as Opel in the rest of Europe and owned by General Motors, appeared prominently in several episodes. While there's no concrete evidence of a paid product placement deal, it's possible that there was a more informal arrangement or a loan of the cars for the show. This practice contrasts with the common promotional consideration or furnished by arrangements seen in the USA. The Morse Code connection, author Colin Dexter, who created the character of Inspector Morse, had a connection to Morse Code in his past. During his national service, he served as a Morse Code operator in the Royal Corps of Signals. However, it's important to note that this service was not the inspiration behind the character's name. Instead, Dexter named the character Morse after Sir Jeremy Morse, a friend who shared his love for crosswords. This personal connection adds a touch of trivia to the character's origin. As Inspector Morse continues to captivate audiences with its cerebral mysteries, and the enigmatic inspector himself. These behind-the-scenes details offer a glimpse into the show's history and the intriguing choices made during its production. As we draw the curtains on this journey through the enigmatic world of Inspector Morse, I invite you to pause and reflect on the unique connection you've forged with this timeless 1987 TV series. Perhaps it was the intricate puzzles that left you racking your brain the unmistakable charm of Morse himself, or the picturesque Oxford backdrop that captured your heart. Think about those late nights when you found yourself immersed in Morse's cerebral investigations, the subtle nuances of John Thaw's portrayal, or the brilliant camaraderie between Morse and his trusty Sergeant Lewis. Maybe it's the way Morse's love for opera or crossword puzzles resonated with your own passions, forging a silent kinship. Did you ever find yourself wandering the streets of Oxford, half expecting to stumble upon one of Morse's favorite haunts? Or perhaps you found solace in the thought that you, too, could solve intricate mysteries with the keen eye of the inspector himself. Now, I encourage you to share your treasured memories, 
thoughts and reflections on Inspector Morse. Whether it's a favorite episode, a memorable quote, or a personal connection you've made through the series, your insights add depth to this enduring narrative. Let your voice be heard, and let's keep the spirit of Morse alive. Thank you for taking this journey with us, for letting the mysteries of Morse become a part of your world. Your time and interest are greatly appreciated.